It's finally time we go back out to do some pond hopping. Along the journey, we met a stranger who told us about a hidden pond full of 10 pound bass. Out of curiosity, we had to go give it a try. But stay tuned till the end of the video because this is only the beginning of today's adventure. All right, guys, we're out at this hidden pond and we're gonna be fishing a chatter donk. I got it paired up on my Kicking Their Bass TV X Lose combo. If you guys wanna check them out, kickingtheirbass.com. It'll be linked down below. But we're gonna go ahead and get this started. I haven't been to this pond in a very long time. It's more of like a canal pond. And uh, we've caught some very big fish out of here. I've actually got one at 10 pounds out of this pond. The last time I came out, I did catch a six pounder. So I have some very high hopes. So let's go ahead and cover some water and search for these giant bass and see if we can get one of these monsters. Pretty sure I just had a bite, yeah. I think he just grabbed onto the back of it. I don't know if to make another cast. That was a quick bite. Here we go, here comes the sun, boys. It was overcast. It was sunny earlier. Let's see if we can get that bite again. I reel it pretty slow. Come on, big bass. I wanna see it. That is not good. I'm gonna go ahead and bring that in. We can throw this out when we get back. Don't litter, guys. Anybody uh, watching this video, make sure you don't litter. I'm gonna set that there. When I walk back down, I'm gonna pick it up and throw it in the trash. Every time I see stuff in the lake, too, I try to take it out the best that I can. Some places are worse than others. You know, there's some ponds I go to that's just trash everywhere and I feel very bad. You know, it's not good. Just remember, every single time you go out, if you see any trash or Anything, make sure you pick it up. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could, take the time, hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. I'm getting right on that edge. Perfectly. Ooh, that was a bite, 100%. Just literally grabbed the back of it, just kind of a little touch like that. We're gonna get another cast in there. That was our first bite of the day, let's see. Got this fluke on the back of the chatter donk. Come on, fishy, eat it this time. Oh! Oh my gosh. I was going to pop it right when I was popping it, one was eating it. That was just the timing. Craziest timing right there. Bass. <laughs> really? How big is it? Really? That's pretty crazy. So I've fished out here a long time. I haven't seen I have seen the iguana, which is kinda my wife and um her brother was out here fishing last night and they caught like five catfish. And they caught two eels. Wow. Like legit, legit eels? Yeah. Oh, yeah. My wife, she dropped the pole and started running. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Yeah, there, well, I'll definitely keep an eye on it. Thank you. I appreciate that. You have a good day. <laughs> that, uh, that kind gentleman, he said that there is a eight foot gator out here, which I never knew. I've been fishing this place for. I mean, it's probably been four or five years now. I don't come out here a ton, but I have never seen a gator, and that's kind of eye-opening for me. We need to be careful. An eight-foot gator, that is one that you do not want to play with. An eight-pound bass now? I want to play with that, but <laughs> an eight-foot gator? Nah, I don't want nothing to do with that big boy. All right, guys, we're out at a different pond. First one just didn't work out. We got informed about a eight foot gator, but other than that, we didn't really <laughs> get anything done out there. So we're out at a new little tiny small pond and uh, still throwing the chatter donk, hoping that we can catch a big one out of here. On one of the last episodes, I caught a good like three and a half pounder on a top water in here. So they're in here. It's just if we can catch them. 
So we're gonna cast around here and uh, hopefully we'll hook a big one. There's a big boil right there, I think. Oh yeah, there was. There's a nice boil. Have confidence, guys. We just gotta be patient. It's gonna happen today. Come on, big bass, I know you're in here. That sucks that we missed that one that boiled right next to us. I was hoping he was gonna come get it. No idea what I just felt. I don't think that was a bite. I think it was something on the bottom. Almost felt like a fence post, like something metal. No, not yet, sadly. Still a little warm. Yeah. Some pretty dogs. Thank you. Hey. We went to the big ponds in the back. There we go. <laughs> You're my good luck charm. <laughs> oh, yeah. You want to see it? Yeah. Oh, you want to see it? He ate it good, too. There we go. First fish, guys. Solid pound in the corner. Look at that. Look at that. You like that? What's that? A fish? One. Which one? There's big, big bass in there. Really? The problem is, an eight to ten foot gator has just really? settled in there the last couple of days. We pulled a six and a half to seven foot gator out of there two weeks ago. My son's pulled several ten pound bass out there. I appreciate you, man. Have a good day. There we go, guys. First fish of the day. Not a big one. The kind gentleman stopped and talked to us. Pretty little dogs, and uh, he must have been my good luck charm because we got our first fish. He's not a big one, but he's got a fat, thick little body. And that is a start to today's video. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for inviting. There we go, boys. That's a start. That's all we needed. We've had a lot of gator talk today. And he gave me a little advice on a pond to go fish. We might have to go try it out. But uh, very kind gentleman. Appreciate people like that, you know? Sounds like he's a fisherman himself. He said his son catches a lot of fish out there. So that's just awesome. But let's keep on hunting. There's got to be more. Oh my gosh, that scared me. I don't think that was a bite. I think it might have been a little stick. <laughs> oh no! I just had a big one follow me up. I think he was a big one. The boil was crazy. Totally just followed me right up to the bank. I was talking to Tara, just not even paying attention. Oh man, that boil was crazy. I will say I threw my cast out there in the middle like that first one happened to follow me back up. Jeez, man. Well, that's a good sign, guys. We caught one, had one follow us back. Maybe the fishing's about to heat up. Maybe those dogs were a good luck charm. <laughs> All they had to do was walk by us and we started getting some bites here. Man, I wish I caught that fish, that hurts. It was just a good boil. I didn't lay an eye on him, you know. He could have been a little smaller, but that boil just seemed pretty big. And most of the fish I catch out of here are pretty large. You know, that last one was small, but I feel like there's some really good ones in here. All right, guys, we're on to the next. Boys, we just took this man's advice. And let me tell you, this is the juiciest place I have ever seen. And I cannot believe I haven't fished it yet. Holy cow. I'm boiled out there. Oh, there's a little gar. So there's a big gator out here, so be cautious. He said his son's caught a couple tens out of here. That's pretty crazy. If you guys want us to come out to this pond and live bait fish, let me know because I actually have an area around here that i can go catch live bait and i can come over here and use it yeah that's the gator you see it do you see it it's huge that is a big gator that man was not wrong we are oh tara i forgot to retie i should probably retie i'll be back I think this is the right decision. Definitely need to retie. This is actually a double digit caliber pond. 
We do not want to be playing around with that because I'll be very upset. And if we do catch a 10 pounder right now, I'm going to be very happy. I'm going to freak out. Even if we don't do good here today, I'm definitely coming back. This place just looks good. It looks like there should be some good fish in there. There we go. so good there's like a little creek in the back there guys i don't know if you guys can see it's like a little tiny like pocket that's the gator right there i don't know if you guys can see him right there but a little tiny creek looks so good this place is definitely juicy we just might have to be very patient here So good. Oh no. He had it on the freaking fall right at the mouth of that little creek. So I'm pretty sure that this pond gets natural water from the swamp, similar to one of the other ponds around here that I fish. And I'm pretty sure that connects right to the swamp. Totally missed. Oh my gosh, guys. There we go. There we go. He's not that big. I thought he was a lot bigger. Oh my goodness. There we go, guys. First fish in the new pond. Oh man, beautiful bass right there. Beautiful markings on him. He's pretty skinny for the most part, but still a healthy fish. Beautiful colors on him. All right, let's get him back in the water. First fish at the new pond. Thank you for biting, baby. Oh my gosh. What's crazy, guys, is the cast before I had a bite under that tree and I threw that bait right back up there. Let it hit the bottom and he already had it. I lifted up, he was running with it. That was insane. There's the same cast I just threw. Maybe there's more. Gosh, I really thought I had a big one. He was running with it so far. I couldn't really move him. He might have been in a tree. <laughs> It just felt like uh, one of those big bass. I grab it and you can't even turn them. Oh, big boil, big boil. Come on, fish. Huge boil. So guys, normally, like just standardly fishing a chatter bait, I'll just throw it out there. Steady retrieve back, right? Every once in a while, I'll give it a pop. So there's been days, I haven't done it in a long time, to where I just felt like they weren't active enough to chase this thing. So pretty much what I do is I throw it out, let it hit, sink to the bottom, and I pretty much just hop it like a jig or a worm. And I just let that blade just go back and forth and then fall back on the ground. It'll work on some days. And uh, sure enough, I just threw up there, popped it a couple of times and I felt one grab the back of it and spit it back out. Same situation on that first fish I caught over here. It was like I threw the bait in and he already had it. So it seems like they're just a little slower. You know, if I was throwing a little Texas rig or something slow, I feel like I'd be getting more bites. But with the chatter donk, I feel like you can kind of adjust your retrieve. And I've caught them this way multiple times before. So I know it's possible. It might be something I'm gonna try out here for a minute. First fish I caught was when it was not even moving. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. I had a bite right away. I randomly saw a boil through right in there instantly. Oh, the gator's right there. Okay. Yeah, yeah there's something in the water there. So I didn't see what the boil was and I thought, what if it was the gator? It like went down and that was me crawling my jatterbait along his back. Well, we've only had one bite here, guys. One fish. That is about it. Oh, that's a good one, I think. Yeah, that was a good one. That was the biggest one today. Right as I'm just saying, we've only caught one out of here, guys. Look at that. Let's go, baby. It's a beautiful one. So these fish are definitely coming out of the swamp, guys, with how pretty those markings are. Those are river bass. That is all that is. Those are swamp bass right there. I made the weirdest noise. Look how pretty that fish is. That is an easy two and a half pound fish all day, maybe two and three quarters if we're lucky with how fat he is. Beautiful lateral line. And they're living in this tannic water, the swamp water. They just tend to have beautiful colors beautiful markings on them and that's a good fish let's go ahead and get him back in the water thank you for biting baby that is our second fish out of this pond <laughs> wow you got me all wet well there we go guys two fish today has been nothing but just being patient you know it hasn't been the best day in the world we are not done yet we have a lot of fishing to do but today's just been be patient be calm stay positive and uh we have seemed to hook into a couple fish here. So uh, we're just gonna keep on staying confident, staying positive, and being patient. And I think we're gonna have a couple more bites. After this pond, I have a really juicy one that I'm gonna go to, and I think we're gonna end up smoking them. I was just wanting to try out some different places, but uh, let's see if we can catch one more out of here. there's something oh oh Terry's he's behind me did you see that that is a good one too that was the oddest the weirdest bite of my whole freaking career holy cow grab your worm Tara. come here throw it right here that was about a three pounder maybe three and a half oh my goodness so that fish bit it and it felt like, I don't even know what it felt like, to be honest. It felt like he wasn't on, but he had really been running with it so hard. That was the craziest bite, guys, I have ever had on a chatterbait. Guys, we are deep in the sauce. Yeah, this is frog territory. where a 10 pounder lives right there boys I stopped reeling for two seconds and now I'm hung that is not good Can't reach it. Try my best, get a better angle. I'm not good. Ah, lost in the sauce. I can literally see you right there, chatterbait. Just let go. Let go of my chatterbait. Here we go. There he is. Yeah. Okay. We is in the forest. Oh yeah. You ready to move ponds? I definitely have high hopes in this place. I just think we're gonna have to come back. Come back more supplied with the right fishing gear and come back with uh, some 10 pound material, AKA live bluegill. If you guys wanna see that video, comment down below, hit the like button, let me know. We're gonna go head out to another pond that I haven't really fished before. And then after that, we're going to hit a place that is loaded and they should be biting really good. So. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that part. Mm. 
You ready? Let's see what we go. Just want to throw a few care. Oh! That's a nice one too. Oh my gosh. Heck yeah. It's crazy how different they look from pond to pond. I was literally saying we're going. And there's a good two pounder. Not big by any means, but not small. But look at the markings on this one compared to all the other ones. Pretty much no lateral line. Just very pale and white. I love how we're about to just leave and happen to get a bite. Thank you, buddy. Here we go. We're piecing it together. I did not think this was it. Just wanted to throw a few casts and right as I'm about to really in my last cast, someone bites it. So I think we deserve one more cast out there. What in the world just happened to me? That is called a stick fish, girl. You know what? Look at that. Say we were cat fishing or live bait fishing. This is literally boom, stake in the ground. And then you lay your fishing pole on it. <laughs> That's a perfect little rod holder. All right, let's go. Tara, what are you doing? What are you doing? We're putting on the patroller. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she has been begging to put on a patroller for the last what? All day. All day. She yeah. started off there with this go. on her rod and then I told her, I was like, oh, today might not be a day for top water. And she has been thinking about it all day. So I was like, go with your gut and tie it on. She's been throwing that worm. You've had what, one bite? You would think like a worm or something slow would just get way more bites than this, but she hasn't had luck, so maybe you can get a topwater bass today. That would be That's cool. what I'm hoping for. But by the way, guys, if you want to check out any of the mock baits, I'll pop up the discount code on the screen um, and website link could be down below. All right, guys, I got high hopes for this pond. I've been waiting all day to come fish it, and it is finally that time. So let's get after it. Hopefully we're going to end up catching some big ones. Let's get it started. I haven't been here in about three weeks. This place has been pretty good to me. I've only been out two times in the last like three years. This is the one that was drained previously, so I just never came back to it. And I don't think I've fished with the chatter donk in here yet, so maybe we will get on some good fish. Oh, oh my gosh. That was a crazy bite. And I just wasn't in the right position to hook set. That messed me up. I felt like a pretty good one, guys. The boil looked pretty nasty, too. I was looking forward to that cast. I probably should have gotten a better position before making that. That's probably my fault. I need to get another angle on them. First one out of this pond, I saw a whole wake for him coming over towards it. He is not big. Probably one of the smallest ones today, but oh man, that was a good bite and he ate it good. I saw his whole like spiral going towards that bait. Well, there we go. There's one fish out of here, many more to go. And that is the smallest one of the day. You know what's crazy is that's how flooded this place was from raining, from the rain the last few days. I just walked up on like a school of them right up on this flat i think they were more scared of me than i was of them right there they were just sitting in that grass it's really flat right here it's got like a slight drop off the more i walk up i can see like some of the fish are spooking off they're right there on the edge it should be prime a little parallel cast look just like that oh my gosh he put it in his mouth All right, guys, we're back. I know you guys recognize this pond. I'm hoping they're gonna be biting because today has been a struggle. We have not gave up. We have put our heads down, completely grinded. Fished probably seven ponds. It hasn't been the best, but it could have been a lot worse. And we're just gonna keep on hunting here. I think we can pick up a giant out of this place. It happened before a few months ago and it can definitely happen again. There's an opportunity that's gonna present itself tonight. We just gotta stay positive and, and uh, 
keep fishing around and should be able to catch a big one. I'm beaming today, I ain't gonna lie. I'm casting, my casting's been on point. It's the fish catching part that's been a little tough on me. Oh, I stepped in Goose Duke. <laughs> oh, Goose Duke. I do not like Goose Duke. No Goose Duke for me, I'm moving spots. These fish are just being dang stubborn. Beautiful skip, and now we're gonna hook set right about. Come on. I wish, man. I can only dream, right? Oh, oh guys, this is him. This is him. Please come back. Please come back. Please come back. The boil was ridiculous, and that was my freaking opportunity. I hooked up with my eyes instead of my feeling. Oh my gosh, please. I got too antsy. Today's been a tough day, and mm, that was our opportunity. I hooked set probably 0.5 seconds too early, and it was too late. You know, I just, I went with my eyes, which you never need to do. You know, you really need to go off that feeling for the most part, unless you can just see the fish clearly. I saw them swirl on me and I didn't want to take any chances. And I just kind of got a little excited. Not the right way to handle it, but we live and we learn and we're going to keep trying. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. There we go, boys. Right in this pocket. Let's go. That is awesome right there. Come on, buddy. Get on the bank. Yes. Not a giant, but that is a fat one. Oh man, thank you so much for abiding. You can tell where he's been caught before right there in the corner of his mouth. Not a big fish, but definitely a rewarding one. And uh, he's gonna grow up to be a giant one day. I can just tell by his belly. Thank you for biting, buddy. Thank you so much. There he goes. Wow. That gives me some confidence, guys. We haven't had a bite in this pond yet. Still waiting on the giants. We've been searching all day. It has been a struggle, but we're not giving up. I don't know about y'all, but if I know anything, this right here is a landing pad for a gator. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. There's been gators in this pond. Pretty positive that's where he comes up on the bank. You got one? Biggin? Keep the pressure, Tara. That's a monster. Nice. Yes. Yes. Tara's a good one. It's the biggest one today. Yes. Good job. Oh, you waited all day for that bite. Heck yeah. That's pretty much close to a three pounder there. Good job, girl. That's what the search is for giants is about, guys. We waited all day. We worked very hard and uh, Tara got her a good one. Yeah. That's a good fish, girl. Good job. Uh, buddy, thank you. Needed you. We needed that today, didn't we? <laughs> good job. You worked all day for that bite. And this video series, Searching for Giants, that's what it's about.